Y'all right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kerbo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Antenna Sleep mod, which is being made by form user Snark. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a very handy sleep button to any of your deployable antennae, which will close them up and then redeploy them after a set a given amount of time. And it may not sound like the most amazing addition ever, but it's actually a very useful tool, especially if you're playing on a harder difficulty in the game and requiring communication for control. This could really save a fair few of your probes. So let's uh, jump to a ship I have in orbit to show off how this works, and, well, frankly, it's not that complicated, so it's going to be a fairly short video today, but if we look at this already deployed antenna and right-click on it, you'll notice that we have a two Two new UI elements. One is this uh, slider here, which has sleep minutes, and then this button down here, which just says sleep. Now, the slider is used to select how long you want this particular antenna to go to sleep, and you can go all the way down to 30 seconds and all the way up to 20 minutes. And once you have that slider set to where you would like it, you simply need to hit the sleep button, and there you go! The antenna closes itself up for safekeeping, and right there we have another new UI element saying when it will wake up. So we have wake in uh, almost 20 minutes there now after 15 seconds have passed. Now. This doesn't permanently lock the antenna if you do want to extend it at any time, if you want to break the timer. You just simply re-extend the antenna, the timer goes away, and you're back on your own. Now, if we go to an antenna that is yet to be deployed, you'll notice we do not have the sleep button or the timer, but the moment we do successfully extend this antenna, there we go, we have them right here. And if we set this one to just 30 seconds and then hit sleep, you'll see once again our timer comes up, the antenna closes itself, and we start counting down. Now if we do speed up time just a little bit, it of course will speed up time too. Let's go back to normal, and two, one, redeploy! And there it goes, it is automatically extending itself and relinking communication which is just such a helpful and handy thing to have. Again, if you are playing on a harder difficulty where you require communication for control and your probe's about to do a pretty tight arrow break, well, you're going to want to close up your antenna to keep them safe. Or, of course, if going in for re-entry, again, you're going to want to close them up so they don't get destroyed. But, of course, once they're safe again, if you have no control because you require communication for control, well, you're in trouble. That's where this timer comes into play. If you know that the arrow break's only going to last, say, two to three minutes, you can set it for three and a half or four to give it a little leeway, put it to sleep, and then once it's passed through its maneuver, you're good to control once again. It's just a handy, helpful little tool, and that's really all to go over here. Not a whole lot, but a fun, useful little mod. So if you'd like to have a look at this for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!